two, one. Hi there, my name is Dr. Jay Brightwell, and I'm here with my new friend Miguel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and uh, Miguel found us, we were in a car accident. Would you yes. tell us a little bit about the car accident and, and what you experienced after the car accident? Um, well, in the accident, I was hit from the side, and it actually brings me to a complete stop and my shoulder and my arm was hurting. I had tingleness in my left uh, fingers, my index finger and my thumb and uh, my lower back and my hip was hurting. So, so uh, and this is how long ago? This was in June of 20, June 27th of 2017. So, we, so we're July, so we're like eight months ago he had this accident and he's had this this persistent numbness and tingling and low back pain, and then and then what happened? Because you tried you tried other I, things. I've tried other things. I've been to numerous doctors since then. Um, I really haven't had a change until I actually came here. Cool. And and, and so we've been under care for a month now. Yes. And I, I know we're not one hundred percent of the way there yet. But what uh, what have you experienced over the last over the last month? Um, well, for one, my upper body, my neck was out of shape. I didn't know that until I spoke with you and you did your examination and stuff. And that was, it was the x-rays. That, it, was, it was really clear on Miguel's x-ray um, that there, there was some squeezing on, a, on nerves yes. running down the arm. Yes. And uh, since, that, since our adjustments, I really improved in my upper body. Um, I'm still experiencing little pains on my lower body, but... As you said, we're working on that and yep. trying to get better. And, and so here was the, the, the big piece with, uh, with Miguel and his case here. He said, I, I feel the numbness and tingling on these two digits, right? Yes. And so the, the, the way the neurology works and the way the body works, and we know this, is that specifically the C6 nerve pathway. When the C6 nerve pathway has pressure on it down here, it's frequently the six shooter, right? The gun. It, so it's the C6 nerve pathway that, that we're looking for pressure on. So when he's describing this, he's like, okay, we're going to look for C6. Well, we take a picture, we look at the x-ray, and what, is, what does the x-ray show? show? What, which pathway? It was showing that, well, right away you showed me how the, how the curve and it was supposed to be more uh, upright and adjusted. Exactly, and it was right, right at that C6 pathway. Then we did a nerve scan, and we said we want another layer of certainty that says that, because it's not 100% that this is going to work, right? But we said we want a high degree of, of, of success. We want to put as many probabilities for success in our favor as possible. And so in this case, then we did a nerve scan. And we went to the nerve scan and we said, okay, we want to see some pressure at C6. And lo and behold, there was pressure at um, C6. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so, we're, so we're moving the dial forward and, and there's been a couple of the things that we've done in addition to the chiropractic, but that's been the big thing is the chiropractic piece. So um, well, I said to Luis on the table, I said, don't you wish somebody told you about this before? Yes. <laughs> uh, so any thoughts for anybody who's out there listening, thinking about kicking the tires on chiropractic, maybe a little bit nervous to any advice for anybody out there in Facebook land? Um, YouTube I would land have today? to say don't give up and give it a try because you never know what's going to happen. Um, I've really made some improvements since I came here. Um, I've seen a lot of multiple doctors and I haven't experienced this much improvement since I came here a month ago. That's awesome. So I would like, love to offer this piece if you're out there listening. Send us a message. You can, you can send, call us 303-776-6767 uh, and we just sit down and we can chat and see if it's right for you. With Miguel's case, it wasn't clear when we first walked in that this was going to be a successful case. I think we'd call this at this point in time a successful case. Yes. And we know that it's, we're not everything to everyone. Chiropractic isn't everything to everyone, but we hope to be something. We hope to be something that we can add to your, your daily, weekly, monthly, yearly team that makes your life a little bit better today than it was yesterday, a little better next year than it was this year. And I think that when, when July 4th week comes around 2018, we can, be, we can say that it's probably going to be a little bit better than that July 4th was in 2017. Well, like I said, just within the month that I've been here, I've seen a lot of improvements in the whole time that I've been injured, so I've, I've expect a lot. Thank you for sharing, and this is, you know, it's not easy to do this, so thanks Miguel, we appreciate you, and we Thank appreciate you. you for watching, and again, hope we can be of help and service to you.